one, do you guys think that it's finally time to do an updated what's in my bag video? Because I do and that's exactly what you'll be seeing today. I have been so in love with my new purse and I did one of these videos like right when I started YouTube, which was going on like a year and a half ago. And it's so old, I'm in my bedroom, I'm using my black crossbody marks Jacob's bag, which I still have and I still love. So if you wanna see the old version of this way back when I didn't know what I was doing when I was filming, then I'll have it linked down below. But it just hit me to do this video the other day because I'm like, I probably carry a lot of different things in my purse and the purse that I've been carrying just recently, you guys have been asking a lot about and I've been loving. But really quick, isn't this lip color just like everything you want in Christmas time? I am loving it, I'm dying over, I'm going to be wearing it so much. And if you're interested in this whole entire look that I'm wearing on my face right now, then go check out Monday's video. I did put out an extra one this week. I was so darn proud of myself, but I did a super fun round robin holiday tutorial and I'm giving away two items including this lip color. So if you're loving this as much as me, then go check out that video and I'm sure the link will be supplied somewhere down below. But without further ado, let's hop into my bag. This is the bag that you guys have been seeing all across Instagram and that's kind of another reason I wanted to do this video because a lot of you were asking about it and I thought, you know, seeing it in a video would be super helpful. So yes, this is my newest Kate Spade bag and as you can tell, I hope it's coming off the right color because it's a Robin's egg blue. A lot of people on Instagram were saying that, oh my gosh, where'd you get that mint bag? And it's not really green by any means. It's definitely ah, more of a baby blue. So I just think it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous and I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna tell you how I got it really quick because I've been carrying a fossil crossbody bag for a really long time and it was fairly small. So when Black Friday came around, I was in Florida and I decided to go to Kate Spade because Jerome had given me a gift card that I hadn't used and they were having an amazing Black Friday sale. They were having 50% off and then the whole store and then 10% off of that. So it wasn't nearly 60%, but it was somewhere like 55% off and I just died. I will be honest with you guys, this purse is originally $335 and I got it for I think 150. So I was really happy with that and I just love it because when I looked at it I really fell in love with the style for one and also it's very sturdy like I hate those bags where you buy them because you like them and like you like the shape and then you take the paper out and you put everything in and then it just completely changes and it like sags down. That just bothers me for some reason. So I loved that and I loved that it really doesn't feel like it's going to lose its shape at all. But I also loved how far it zipped down on the side. So as you can tell, I think that's more than normal and I love that because I can really open this up and see what's in there because it is kind of just like a black hole of nothingness and there's no real organizing element to it so I thought to have that it would help me see things a little bit better so last but not least are the handles because like I said I've been using a cross body bag for so long and I do watch my cousins a lot so I can't be carrying like a purse on the crook of my arm which I think is so cute but I'm like I just it's not practical for my life right now and so I loved that these are really sturdy handles but they can fit over my shoulder so that's kind of what I was looking for that's what I ended up with in guys this purse is amazing and they have tons of colors and if you're in the market for a late Christmas present maybe then this would be a great one boyfriends if you're watching out there get your girlfriends this purse they love it so just starting out there are no pockets on the front but there is one on the back so I might as well start with that it's fairly shallow so I tend to keep my phone in it so I'm just gonna kind of get the straps out of the way and the first thing that are in here are headphones and I carry these a lot with me because since I started working with my dad I've been editing in the car on the way to and from work so those come in super handy next is a little note <laughs> that I can't show you because it contains somebody's Christmas present um, or like a list of things I need to get for this said Christmas present but yes a little post-it note with all of that info and then the last thing in there, well, my phone would be in there, but it's on the table, um, is this lip product from Sonia Kashuk. I wore this to work the other day, and this is like my all-time red for this time of, or my all-time favorite red for this time of year. This is the Velvety Matte Lip Crayon in Rosy Nude. So beautiful lip color, kind of a darker red, a little bit, well, not a little bit, a lot matte, and it's just super comfortable on the lips. 
So moving on to the inside of this purse, it looks like that, something like that. And it has just this really nice, almost nude kind of lining with the Kate Spade letters all over it, which is super pretty. But I'm gonna go into these first two little pockets right there. So these are a little bit different than I thought they would be because they're very skinny. So I can't fit a lot like width wise in there. So in the first pocket, all I have is some hand sanitizer and I've been using this a ton. Drum uses it a ton. I use it a ton with my cousin. So I go through that stuff like crazy. And then in the next little pocket, I just have two things. One being a Holiday Inn pin that I think I took from a hotel when we traveled to Florida. And then just a little pack of these Frishes Halloween coupons. And if you have a Frishes near you, I'm sure you know what these are. If not, you buy a pack of these around October or like Halloween and then you get eight free kids meals in here so since I'm with my cousins I decided to pick those up moving on to the little zippy pocket this is where I keep most of my lip products and kind of makeup things so this will be a really fun pocket to go through first thing I'm seeing is the pixie shea butter lip balm this is a new addition and I don't even think I've put anything on Instagram about it lately but I love it it's a super nice color it's more of a lipstick though really compared to a lip balm it's it's kind of thick, but it packs a ton of color. So that's really, really pretty. Next is one of my favorite products that I've been wearing a ton. I wore it almost every single day in Florida. And this is the L'Oreal Glossy Balm in 240 Pink Me Up. Great, great, great. I think I have a review on these somewhere around here. Then I have my all-time... <laughs> My, these are just all my favorites. My other all-time favorite, Coors Lip Butter in Plum. I can't leave the house without it. And then I'm going to go into my slew of chapsticks. Hold on, let me get them all out because this is a little bit embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. I think I have, yeah, four chapsticks in here. So the first one is this Chapstick Hydration Lock 8 Hour Lip Balm. And I got this in Birchbox. I ended up loving it. This is like my second one. And then I do have another chapstick one and this is the dual ended one. And I did a review, I think in a Mystery Monday video on these. And there was two that came out and this one ended up being my favorite. This is the Moisture and Renew one. And then I have one that my friend Emily recommended and this is the Blistex 5 Star Lip Protectant. It's really, really nice. It stays on really well well. It's really thick and it's super cheap, which I couldn't get over. So that's a really nice one too. And then last but not least is the most fun one of the bunch. This is a lip balm that I got at my friend's wedding recently. And I mean, this idea, I just can't get over it because on here it says our love is the balm. And this is a chapstick. It's a lip balm. Do you get it? I just thought it was so cool to give out something so useful for like the little favor at the reception when you sit down for dinner. So yeah, I have to carry that around. And like I said, it's a good chapstick too. So it's a win-win. And then a few other makeup type items. The first thing is this Q-tips holder with a hair tie around it. And I will explain this because I have used this for bobby pins for such a long time. I think it's so handy. They're all in there. I also keep hair ties and just a few clear elastics, but it has since broke. And so I have to keep a little hair tie around it now, but it's a super effective and convenient way to keep your bobby pins. And then two more things. One is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. I just have that to touch up here and there. And then also another lip product that I just have to keep in my purse, it's like a staple, is MAC Heavenly Hybrid. It's almost on the purpley side. It's a little bit bright, but it seriously just goes with everything. And I love just every single time I wear it. I think it's so pretty. Then we're just going to dive right along into the craziness of this big pocket. And I might as well pull out my wallet because it's the first thing I'm seeing and it totally matches my purse. This is the first time in such a long time I've had a small wallet. Typically I have those clutch style ones that are kind of long and a little bit bigger but I've been loving this. I did get it at the same exact time because it was super discounted and I needed a new wallet. So in here I just have the typical stuff. I don't think I'm going to go through all of it right now, but I just have gift cards and everything like that. And then I love this little pocket. Let's see, back here, because it's kind of for change, I really just designated one side to change because I have so many coupons and like royalty cards and everything like that that I kept them over there. So that is my nice little wallet and it also has one little pocket on the back. And then I have my keys and I think that's pretty typical. And yes, I do have mace. I think I had that in the last video too. And no, I have never used it. And then something that comes in really, really handy are these little tiny packages of tissues and I remember I threw this last minute in my purse on the way to Florida and we used it so much that I was super happy I put it in there 
And then my favorite hand cream for right now. I have to carry this with me. This is the Aveeno Positively Ageless Skin Strengthening Hand Cream. And I put up a first impression kind of review over on Instagram not that long ago. So a lot of info is over there if you want it. But it just moisturizes really well. It's totally the consistency I love. And the smell is fantastic. Next, I got to have my gum in here. I have a double mint. And normally I have juicy fruit too. But I just bought a new one. And it's floating around my room somewhere. And then I like to also carry Tylenol, Advil, things like that, just because you never know. And I know Miss Glamorazzi has said this before, but I love being that person that just has everything people need. So I really like to carry things that are super useful, like Band-Aids I have somewhere in here too, and I just like being that person, I guess. And then I have some Aquaphor, and I used this a ton a long time ago. Um, it's good on the lips, but I really feel like my lips have gotten used to it recently. But I really was carrying it because one of my cousins struggled a lot with eczema and really really dry cracked skin so I would carry this for her thankfully she kind of grew out of it so I probably can take it out but I don't know I just have that in there and then going into this little bag I had to have some form of organization in here and this is just a most recent ipsy bag which is why I do love ipsy bags because they come in super handy granted I don't need like 15 but I used this one I thought it was super helpful so in here I have more beauty products um, I have this little mascara. This is the Lancome Definicils, and I know that even though <laughs> all of it is rubbed off, this thing is probably embarrassingly old, but it still works and I still use it, which is probably a little disgusting. And then I have the nail file that I spoke of before. It's probably rubbed off all of those chapstick labels, but this is from Tweezer Man. I got this in Birchbox and I love it. I've been using it ever since I've had it for forever, but it's a really nice coarse nail file and I find that I use use it a ton. Then I have a little Sephora mirror, but a funny story, one side is broken, so let's see, one of these sides like totally falls out and I have to like be careful with it, but I use that. One side is magnified, one isn't. And then I also have a little contact case, but no, there are no contacts in here. I use this to store some lotion, and this is my favorite lotion, especially to use on my lips, which is kind of strange. I know I've talked about it before, but if I use anything with like a minty taste or smell on my lips, I know that a lot of companies do that now, my lips literally break out and like a allergic reaction it's very slight but this lotion is one of the only things that calms that down so I make sure to carry that but it's also good for other you know parts of your body too but that's the um, gold bond ultimate healing lotion with aloe I think but it's really really nice and then on the other side I just keep neosporin just in case because I don't want to be carrying around like a whole tube of it so I just put a little bit in there and that works wonderfully and then I just have some girly things in there that I just dropped in my purse hold on and then I also have eye drops. I tend to find my eyes get a little bit dry, but mostly I carry this for Jerome, and this is the Refresh Optive Lubricant Eye Drops. And then I have this tiny little Too Faced, I think, brush that I got in a Black Friday thing, I think either a year or two ago, and I just used that with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And there are my Band-Aids. I knew I had them somewhere. And guys, we are almost done. I only have a few receipts in here, and I'm kind of glad I'm doing this. My purse is like a little bit cleaned out just because I've only been carrying this for like a month, so thankfully this video won't be that long, but one is from Chipotle, which I go to, I feel like, two times a week, so yeah. I always get a chicken bowl, chips, and then this is actually when I went with my cousin Lydia and we got her a kid's chicken taco and a small soda. And the last one's just from my bank. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it for you. And feel free to snap a picture of your purse, what you keep in it, and send it to me. Whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on Twitter, I could care less. But I just am super nosy and I want to know what you guys carry too. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!